Hello YouTube and welcome to the North Pole Hoops Combine 2022. I am your host, Garrison Thomas, and I'm actually here with the man of the hour, Mr. F.A. Shaka. Man of the hour, man. You're too kind. You're too kind. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm excited, man. There's a lot of talent in this building right now. That's right. It's everything we wanted it to be. Uh, I see a lot of familiar guys that I've seen on the prep scene, some guys from uh, the Showcase League that we have on our weekends, and uh, some new faces as well, too, man. I'm excited to see these guys compete at the end of the day. That's the thing about Canadian basketball, man, is like everywhere you go, there's going to be some great talent. Really, it's, it's impressive to see all the different styles of play and, and how everyone gets after it. But at the end of the day, just like the name of this combine, Game Speaks. Yes, sir. Know? Game Speaks, man. That, that's the name of the game. Today. And I, I love your point about the game growing over here, man. It's, mm. This place is, 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 is limitless with talent, man. There's so many guys come, coming through and doing great things um, at, at all levels. Yeah, you know that's I mean? right. we, can't, we can't just limit ourselves to just the NBA because it's what we see and, and everything, right? You guys doing their thing in Europe, post-secondary. It's absolutely right. It's a, it's a great time for Canadian basketball right now. Yeah, and there's so many different paths to success, right? That's something that I think that uh, that gets lost, lost in the shuffle is that it's not just about who makes it to the NBA and who doesn't. It's really more about... Uh, who can uh, can really provide that opportunity to, to see what b successful basketball looks like. 100%, 100%. In terms of opportunity, um, it's very different now. It's very different now. Um, in terms of the coaches, uh, recruitment, which is, a, which is a big thing I actually want to talk about mm. uh, right now, especially with the upperclassmen. So while, while we're on that subject, F.A., what is your role here at uh, North Pole Hoops for those who, who don't know or who may not know? Oh, man, are we starting from the beginning? <laughs> let's start, let's start from the beginning. beginning. Why not? Yeah, right, why right. not? This is a culmination so, of all that. So let's hear it. So I, 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 for people who don't know, who don't know my story, you've seen a little bit on, on IG. If, yep. If you go on F.A. Shaka, IG. Um, so I've been with North Pole Hoops for about four years now. Started off literally at a scores table, uh, just kind of doing my thing. Right. Um, CNIT, which is coming back. This summer. It is. Yeah, it's coming back this summer. Give the people Make what sure they you're want. Register. Talk to my guy, Mike Dotto. Make sure you're ready. Make sure your clubs are ready to come to that. It's a great event, uh, certified event. We're going to have college coaches in the building as well. Right. Uh, you know I got you, got, you know I got a gold medal in that for coaching, right? Oh, right. Oh, most definitely. Look at this Shout guy. out to Burlington Montana. This guy's a real alumni, eh? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We've been around. But, but nah, man. So, uh, four years ago, joined scorekeeping, and ever since then, I've been just learning, man. And learning and growing, right? Just learning and growing. I, uh, part of the MPA, I was kind of the right hand to Jason Tom, who's the director of basketball operations for the CEBL now. So he Fantastic. was the commissioner then. I uh, did a lot of stats. But then I took the time basically just to network and, and, uh, and meet new people. And that's a big thing I feel like in, in this basketball space, man. You got you to gotta, you gotta meet people. You got to form relationships because it, it carries you a long way. No, that's the Personally, thing. in my opinion. No, you're absolutely right with that. I mean, those connections that are formed, like we're going to be making connections like that for our entire lives. 100%. And I've always, always, always uh, stood by the, the quote and the statement that uh, one day you're just going to be a memory to some people. And I think another big thing too, sacrifice, man. Like, you for the people who don't understand or, or they see they see basketball they see the the guys who go league they see the glitz the glamour and, and everything and it's it's like man you gotta you gotta to do something like this you gotta sacrifice man right and in a number of different areas man and and, and trust me when you put in the work it'll reward yourself right so i came in during the pandemic as well um started connecting with a lot of post-secondary schools with a lot of players and and, and the community in general mm -hmm. and it's kind of built up itself to where it is right now so from scout to lead scout to director of scouting right now so a big thing for me is forming a team where i could have a number of people communicate and talk scouting talk rankings whether it's team or players mm -hmm. uh, just talk about different things in the space and, and and for me it's i think not one person can cover the game of basketball here anymore right or two people mm -hmm. we need multiple people man no, for and sure. working together i feel like is, is so big right uh, to kind of just do that, man. So you I got a number of guys. My guy Josh Milliken. I got Josh Milliken, uh, Izzy, big part, and then I have a couple other guys who who want to step in and help out as well as uh, as well too. So Definitely. no, man, it's it's growing. It's, it's, it's getting better, man. It takes the community, right? 100. percent And at the end of the day, that's exactly what basketball is. Mm. Is it's really a, a community community of people who are who are really trying to expand the game and see see what's past just the stuff that takes place on the court. 100. percent That's what you fall in love with. You fall in love with the with Definitely. the ideas of of hitting that baseline th corner three when the crowd goes crazy. Yes, sir. That's you want that highlight play. That's what it is. Definitely what the what, 
Well, we're yeah, going to be excited for, the, for these scrimmages, man, for Trust these ones that are about me, to happen oh here, man. Oh, my goodness. Yo, looking, at the, looking at the talent pools that are here and the, mm -hmm. the games that we're going to ha be having this evening. Mm -hmm. Hey, F.A., we got people coming in from nationwide. Do people Shout out to Surrey, B.C. if we're watching out there. You know what I mean? We're, we're, out, in, we're out in Raymond, Alberta. All right, we're in the house, and then we got our New Brunswick and Nova Scotia and players. I think, I think, and that's what I love about what we do, man. It's right. open to anybody, man. If you could ball, this is where you need you to be. You got a place here. You got, you got a place. But at the same, yeah. at the same, uh, in the same breath, FA dog, game speaks. Game speaks. Right, you got to earn your spot. Yeah. It's not going to be given to anyone who just shows up, and right? I think, and 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 that's a big thing to me. That's speaking to, yo, let your game do the talking, man. Yeah. A lot of and then we're. And it's 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 the age of social media right now, man. Where guys have a lot of clout, they do a lot of fancy things. They do it for the cameras. Guys who are who are, uh, who are given certain types of whatever you want to call it before they've even earned it. Mm. And I'm like, nah. Like this is not what it's supposed to be, man. Not even close. It's supposed to be, yo, like compete, show you're the best, earn your spot, and and earn whatever is coming to you. So in this case, the scholarships, mm -hmm. man. You know. Mm -hmm. The rights, the rights to really say, okay, I, I was, I did that. That's right, that's right. And hey, like we can't really, we can't even take anything for granted. With that being said, too, I mean, I got if for for those of you who don't know, I got my start uh, uh, into the OUA through North Pole Hoops basketball showcases. It's really, uh, it really expanded my game and, and that exposure aspect of it. That was exactly what I needed at that time. Because uh, there, there's a lot to say about just what takes place in the, again, off the basketball court, right? There's only so much that you can take care of on the basketball court. So you need to be making sure that you can do everything you can to absolutely maximize your own potential off the basketball court. Yes, sir. 100%. 100%. So, man, here and seeing these it's guys, amazing. you know, it's, it's, it's amazing, man. It's amazing, it. man. It's yeah. amazing. These are the next stars of tomorrow, man. Right. The next gen. Right. And I think that's what makes it so special as well, too, for the newer guys kind of stepping in, like yeah. myself and you, is kind of giving back to what we grew up on. Man. That's exactly it, because, again, like, none of us got to where we're at by ourselves. Nah. Those who say, everyone who says they're self-made, it's, it's, takes a, it takes a village, you know what I mean? And it's not, it's not just, to, that's to say, like, uh, maybe somebody who's giving us a ride, maybe somebody who was letting us into these gyms, mm -hmm. right? We can't do it by ourselves. And so just taking it back to your networking point, yep. making those connections and fostering those relationships yep. are just such an important part of life. Yep. And I think basketball is a great sport that really helps facilitate that mm -hmm. and just allows people to be themselves and, and honestly try to figure out who they want to be yep. because they got such great role models. Like, uh, let's talk about our trainers that are here today. Let's talk about our trainers, man. Yeah. So we got some good ones in the building. Obviously, David Tindall has been a staple of of our uh, our showcases and Always. now the, and now the first co combine. Justin Alleman, Dream Chasers, yep. uh, Cedric Galaxy Training, Jelani Icanball, Philip Musich, um, big think, Eric, big names in Canadian big basketball. Na big names wow. in Canadian basketball, man. Wow. Some guys, some guys that I know that do a good job. Eric Sampasa wanted to show up. Uh, uh, a guy named Questly, a, a Quebec guy who came with his kids. Oh my goodness! You know what I mean? And, and he wanted to pull up, and I'm just like, oh, perfect! Like, of course. How could more you not? How could you not want to pull up to this? Methus and Underground Athletics does a great job in this oh, space as well, too. Fire. Check right? out these pages too. Everyone. Check out these pages, check out these man. Pages, check out their IGs. Fire. These are great guys in the community, man. They know what they're doing, especially, and they're doing right by the kids. They're not trying to, you know what I mean? Because that's the that's exactly it too. Like to that to that point, it's just so too often in the in the basketball industry, no matter where you're at in the world. There's people that are that are trying to attach themselves to certain players and, and, and take advantage of them and, and try to see what they what they can get out of the players. 100%. But what I love about North Pole Hoops is that it's never about that. It's, about it's an exposure-based company. Yes, sir. All we're trying to do is spread the word and, and yes, say, hey, let's look at these guys and shine some light on these on these individuals. Mm -hmm. And again, there's so many great places that you can take that because basketball at the end of the day is just a, it's, a, it's a medium to get to where you want to be. In 100%. Life, 100%. Right? It's such a great uh, organization we're a part of, and I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of this. 100%. 100%, 100%, man. So, man, just kind of getting it started. We can kind of go through the itinerary right now. Mm -hmm. uh, just a little introduction. Uh, just kind of keep it short and sweet. I know these guys want to get active. They want to get ready. Keep going. That's right. Um, we got the combine testing going right in front of us right now. Uh, as you see guys setting up for their sprint, uh, getting measured, their reach, vertical as well, too. And then right behind us, you have guys playing some little full, uh, full court action, some conditioning, some shooting, uh, which I think is super vital, super important. The ball handling. The ball handling. And again, F.A., what I think is so, so important about this space is that we were robbed of basketball and being out around each other for, for and years. that's why this is massive as well, For too. years, right? And so the fact that we're able to just get into these situations where we're able to compete. We have an entire uh, station dedicated to competition. 
right? Those are those intangibles that we really want to let shine here. Because yeah. it's not as important as scoring and rebounding are and, mm -hmm. and, other, and other skills, of course. Those intangibles, those are what's going to let you, allow you to stay on the court. 100%. That's what's going to get you onto the team. That's what's going to get you to be the, the, the player that the coach can trust. Mm -hmm. Com competing, that, like, things of that nature are really what you can control. And so we always tell players, focus on what you're going to control. What can you what can you do that's that's unique? And just, that really and and just to shed more light on in, in terms of competition, I, th I think that's a missing thing in in terms of uh, our scene as opposed to. You know, I don't like to compare people, but it's it's the word on the street. Like in terms of us, we we come off as a little bit more softer as opposed to on the international stage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's just what it is. The Canadian it's style of basketball. But at the same time, I love Canada's style of basketball because it, it actually emphasizes making that extra pass or in pushing the basketball up the court. We think about the, the arbitrators of this, and, uh, of Steve Nash and, of course, just the Corey Joseph era where we really saw a shift in Canadian basketball because it, it wasn't just sweet anymore. Yep. It was about being smart, heads-up players that can 100%. actually understand how to play. And we see the effect that it's had on an entire nation. I think so. So to me, which is a, a part of the reason why I love this combine is um, it's just a platform for a different level of environment mm. where you have the top kids around the country literally in the gym going at each other. That's it. I think that's massive. I think yeah. it lets you know where exactly you are and you're in the hear. pecking order, whatever you want to call that's it. Right. You're going to hear us say this a lot, but game speaks, people. Game speaks. Oh, right? without a doubt. Nothing's given. Nothing's given. So a lot, like having environments like this, where you can really go at someone and see just where you where you size up, measure up to the some of the top talent in the country. It's actually amazing to see when we're looking around here. Like the 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 level of play here is just elite. It's really, it's really impressive what's, uh, what we're 100%. able to I mean, I could, I could dive into some of these guys right now, man, uh, that I see literally right in front of me. Nigel Hilton right over there, uh, class of 2022, 6'8", 6'9", forward, stretch forward, who can shoot it, transitioning to a little bit of a, a bigger three right now where you can put the ball on the floor, do things from the perimeter, which I think is super important um, because you, the, the days of being a tweener now are, are long gone. Right, <laughs> that's right. Um, you got to be able... It's, it's, it's so basic and so simple, but like, not a lot of people get it. Like, you gotta be able to pass, dribble, shoot now. Right. It's a must to have. Of you, course. You can't be a liability. That's it. Yeah, if you can't bring the ball over half as a, as a guard, then hey, that's something you gotta work on in the, during the off season. And again, something that we gotta emphasize too is that we need to focus on what we're, focus on our strengths and attack our weaknesses. 100%. As basketball 100. players, right? 100%. It's not, it's not about uh, proving, proving a coach wrong or saying he doesn't know what he's talking about, this, that, and the other. 100%. It's, it's really that emphasis on saying, you know what, let me see what I can get, uh, get accomplished in the off season. Mm -hmm. And again, attacking those weaknesses. Yep. It's about being honest with yourself, right? Being honest with yourself. I, yeah. And uh, you know, there's, there's not a lot of that. Right. <laughs> Straight up, there's not a lot of that, man. <laughs> They're all walks of Yo, life. Self-awareness right. is, 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 is very much lacking. Yes. Um, yeah. With a lot of and I, I don't, I don't want to call out anyone specifically. No, of course not. It's, I think it's just it's just the culture right now, man. Yeah. And I think it's it's uh it's on us as a community to literally yeah. just to educate people and be like, yo, this is where you're at right now, man. Yeah. We hear this is what you got to do. We hear a you lot believe of you're here? No, you're not. That's so what you need to do to get better. That's Straight right. Up. And again, a lot of the time, too, coaches and teachers, they're not, they're not telling us our faults to, to because they don't want us to succeed. Really, they're telling us our faults so that we can improve and see how they take that criticism in order to get better. Right? It's, not about, it's not about what's in front of us right now, but it's about what we can be and what we can achieve. That's it. Mm -hmm. Facts. Facts. Uh, one of the guys I just saw pass through right now, Marcus Barnes uh, from New Horizon. That's right. That's a 2022 point kid, guard. Kid's got game. He, I like him a lot. Same. He can score the ball. Uh, what's, your, what's your kind of point guard? You know what? I'm a big... Because the game is so different. It's now. so different. You're absolutely right. And I'm a big floor general kind of guy. Okay. Of, of being able to control the pace of a game. Yeah. Right? Recognizing when to push the ball and recognizing when it's smart to maybe get into your half court mm -hmm. set. Like we even see, we see in, in, in many leagues uh, throughout the world, really, where there's times where somebody takes a takes an inopportune shot because they're like, oh, I haven't shot in a while. Let me pull up for this. Yep. That might not be what the team needs. No. Right? So as a point guard, knowing the situation and knowing when to get your big man going off of the roll, right? Saying, oh, my big man, my big man's been playing great on defense. Let me re reward his rim run by giving, them, giving him the ball in a place where he can score. Right? So just that recognition and, and, and really seeing when, when and how to uh, impact the game is something that's really important for me as a, as a, uh, as a point guard. Definitely. 100%. Emmanuel Oladule from Ridley walking by, by us right now. 
Class of 2022 as well, too. Like him. Let me give a quick shout out to the team, man. Shout out my guys, Joe and Izzy right beside me. Uh, shout out with Murda, Justin, doing his thing on the video. Um, again, shout out the trainer. Shout out Nana, operations manager, doing Always. her thing. Always. Can't, we can't make it happen without her, man. Facts. We cannot make it happen without her, man. Um, shout out Mike Dotto, COO Always. of North Pole Hoops, too. Um, if you're not in the Showcase League, please get into the Showcase League. Place to be, man. Place, to, place to, be. to be. Definitely the place to be, man. So, Epe, just as the as the head of our scouting uh, department, yep. I'm just curious to know, you personally as a scout, if there's any players out there listening, what's up, yeah, what's up, y'all? How, how's everyone doing? What do you as a scout look for in a player? Oh man, that's a great question. I think where does it start? I'll where does it start? Where does it start? Outside of let's let's say let's take and away athleticism and uh, those, those freaking course, natures who are gonna. Which, uh, which definitely matters, which definitely matters. No we, can't, we, can't, we can't act like it doesn't matter. Yeah, we can't be uh, delusional, of yeah, course. Yeah, we can't be delusional. The, the measurables time. definitely matter. Yeah, but let's, uh, talk, let's talk past that. What, uh, I think the way you communicate, man. Uh, or can you communicate? Ooh. And there's certain things I've picked. Yo, life in basketball is so, it's, it's very much the same. Hand in hand, man. You know, when you, when, you, when, you, when you watch a player or you speak to a player and he can look you dead in your eye and shake your hand. Yeah. And be like, hey, my name is such and such. Oh, how are you doing? Okay. I know you're, you're, you're there a little bit. You know, you're, you're, it says something. It says something. It says something without saying a lot, for sure. You know, the right. way you talk to your teammates. Yep. You know. Yep. How do you firm react? but fair? Yeah. That's what someone told me. Firm but fair. Right. I mean, because you expect you, you expect a lot out of yourself, so you gotta expect the most out of them too. Yeah, that's right. True. I think that's a big thing as well. Um, and then I, I think a big thing for me, right now, um, trying to get to the next level is. is you kind of mentioned athleticism, but I, I kind of, I keep an eye out for fluidity, man. Because some guys haven't played as much as others. They don't, they don't necessarily have. They don't, they don't necessarily have the, uh, the experience. Right. But if I, if I could kind of see, you could pick up things on the fly, like quickly. Mm -hmm. Even on a mental level as well, too, making certain reads, certain passes. The feel of the game is so important. To, I see. That is so important for me. Um, to know you know what you're doing on the court on both ends. That's right. On defense, you're helping the helper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that is that is so important to me. Yeah. Um, the little things for the sure. The little things. Yeah. I think it all adds up. So that that's something I'm I'm very much looking for. But I'm like, for me, I I'm a I'm attracted to scores. <laughs> so <laughs> tough not to be. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely attracted to scores. Yeah. Um, but it's funny you mentioned like point guards. Like I, I'm I like four generals as well too. I'm right. I'm, a, I'm big on leadership. Bingo, because that's what it comes down to. That's what it says about an individual, right? Is, is they recognize so many, so many more aspects outside of the game. Because I remember uh, uh, playing in university and, and, and checking out like uh, film sessions, for example, mm -hmm. for my first uh, first two two years, I'd say. I was looking at myself, seeing uh, like, oh, I got a shot coming up here. Yeah, yo, yo, I know I hit this three, blah blah blah. Yep. But then after a while, it starts to sink in. Yep. It, that comes with that experience that it's not just about you. No. Right? It's not about what's happening, what, what, what you personally can do. It's about what, what your team can achieve. Can you galvanize your team? Yeah. Can you, you, have your, you have your guys ready to play night in, night out. And that's exactly it. Can right? you make them better? Because in order for you actually to, to hold your teammates accountable, to, to actually, when you're, if you're barking at your teammates, but you're about getting back, for example, but you're out here taking possessions off, mm -hmm. then they're going to look at you sideways and yep. say, why would I do that when, when I can't even look at you yep. doing this yourself? Mm -hmm. Right, so it's really just about I, I. I say I say this all the time. How important it is just to self-reflect throughout. Like all of us are on a journey, right? Throughout a di at different parts of our journey, for sure. And some of us learn certain things later, earlier or later. But what's really important to note is that there's there's just the opportunities all around us, and that we shouldn't sleep on opportunities that uh, that present themselves just because we think we might be too too good for them, too cool, don't want to show that effort, don't want to show that extra work. Because honestly, there's somebody who is willing to show that stuff. There's somebody willing to do these things, you know? And so if we, um, you gotta, you just gotta focus on what you can control, F.A. And I think that's what it comes down to, because so many times, I'm sure you hear this a lot as a scout, people say, what can I do to improve my game? 100%. That's, that's you, you, you better be asking that question. You should. <laughs> you should yeah. be asking that and question. And you should be asking that question to yourself constantly. And really recognizing what that means and what that means not only to you, but also to your team. Yep. Because sometimes we want, we want to say that we're, we're, I'm a pure scorer. I can do this, I can do that. But hey, sometimes your team needs you to defend and rebound. Yep. Right? What are you willing to sacrifice to get on the court? 
What are you willing to do to actually get to that next level where you're able to, to let your game speak for you? You know what's the thing I, I, I see I see a lot right now is guys don't have a routine. Ah, that's right. And that's I, right. I feel like we've talked about we talked about, we we talked have, about this we spoke before. About this. You're, yeah, you're but absolutely right about that. It's kind of crazy to me. Yeah. Uh, Not for sure. So so explain that a little bit more. What do you mean by routine, by, uh, man? Routine, yeah. Day in and day out. Day in day out. How are you improving yourself? Mm. What is something you can you can go to on a daily basis to get yourself one percent better? Do you write in a journal? Do you track something? Do you have a list of things you want to get done on a given day? Mm -hmm. How many times are you are you seeing a trainer? And if you're seeing a trainer, what exactly are you doing when you see him? And how many times are you doing that? PT. Are you taking care of your body? Personal training, right? Physical physical therapy. When you step into a game, do you have a plan of attack? Mm -hmm. or are you just going in and you're just freestyling? Right. Is there something you want to actually kind of get done? Mm -hmm. I think it's super important. Yeah, definitely. Right. If you're if you're if you're if you're known for your defense, uh, how do you break down how you want to get stops? How do you break down steals? Yeah. Because there's always something we can improve. There's always right? something you can improve on, right? Yeah. And, and 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 get kind of micro with it, and then and then do it. I think that's super important as well too. We see some max verts and some sprints taking place right in front of us, and we see some speed demons. Man, look at these guys working. You look everywhere in this gym and in every different corner, you see people working, man. People trying to prove, prove their stuff. You love to see it, love to see it. Yeah, man, shout out to our trainers again. Shout out to every all the parents who drove out here. We appreciate you. Good speed. Definitely. I see one of the kids there getting ready to sprint soon. Christian Nitu. 2024 of Royal Crown. There's Mambu Romara of Royal Crown as well too. Good step. I like that kid a lot. Yeah. What you? What he you, was really impressive. What stands out about his game? What, what stood out to you? I two way. Say. He's one of the best two way guys in the country to me. Oh wow. Does it on both I mean, ends, huh? On both ends. I mean, he's. I'm glad you got the measurements. There he is, dapping up right now. My guy, how you doing? <laughs> This guy's like, you saw the of course, you, you saw the strides. Yeah. That, that, I love the confidence, you know what I mean? Right. I, just strides, yeah, I just did that. Yeah, I just did that. I just did that. Right? But no, don't OSB, blink. Don't blink. OSBA, <laughs> OSBA playoffs. I, I think through the the duration of the season, though, he really improved, especially offensively. Okay. Uh, where he was a little bit raw, but he could do certain things. Like, right, right. A uh, little bit of a pull-up game. He was knocking down that corner three more consistently. So I just wanted to see so a little key, bit man. consistency, but so I wanted to see key. a little bit more aggressiveness. Right. OSBA playoffs came around and Ooh, you gotta run uh, through. You gotta run through, big man. Their, their game, Royal Crown's game versus Fort Erie. I thought I thought that first quarter and a half or two mm -hmm. before he had a little bit of an injury that kind of slowed him down. Right. It was it was it was really great to see. He looked he looked he looked really damn good in that game. Nice. Uh -huh. Super happy with that. And there's Christian Nitu, 2024. Super long. I mean, if you're 6'10", you're 6'11", you can shoot it, you can stretch the floor. That'll do. That'll do it. <laughs> we'll, take, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, not stiff. Moves right. pretty well, too. Fluid. Fluid. But he's done. A lot of a lot of room to grow, a lot of room to, to get better and improve. Good stuff. Doing his thing right now. Dap me up, too. <laughs> <laughs> the guy. The uh, man of the hour. Yeah. It's Emmanuel Oladule. That's how you run right through. That's exactly what we're talking about. That's what we want to see. Finish, finish, finish your strong. food. Finish, finish your what job. you started, man. <laughs> finish what you started, you know? That's right. That's a, that's really what we gotta got to make clear to everyone listening, all these players, man, thinking yep. about, like, oh, how do I get there? Maybe you're younger. Maybe you want to come to the future combines and showcases that we have. Definitely. Man, you got to give it your all while you're here, right? Stopping short or not, not pushing yourself all the way through drills. We got eyes everywhere. We're recording these things. Everywhere. Right? Everywhere. everywhere. There's trainers all over the place. There's coaches all over the place. There's scouts. There's places. There's people that can get you to the places that you want to go to. So that being said, you got to play like you want. And to, and to your point, I really want guys to understand, like, anytime you step on a court, even if it's to just train or practice, like you're putting it on tape. Someone's watching Definitely. one way or another. Definitely. You got to come correct. Because if you don't, man, you could you only get one chance at a first impression. Right? Somebody's talking to somebody. Yeah. About your right. game. Love that. Boy was moving. Love it. Boy was moving. Boy was moving. <laughs> moving. 
That's right. Up next, about to take a sprint, Tierno Silla, class of 2022, 6'11 forward. Space the floor a little bit. I like him a lot. He's a really good defender. Yeah? Yeah, he's, he's a really good, good defender. Protect, well? He protects the rim really, really well. His timing for oh, blocking yeah. shots is really good. It's from Guinea. My God. It's from Guinea. Let's go. Yeah. You see that time. Mm -hmm. It's a great time. Yep. It's a big body. There you go. There's Jaheim Merrifield. Been a standout on our uh, our rep league. I was just about to Showcase say I watched league. him. I watched him all weekend, man. And, and he's getting course, buckets, especially this weekend. Now <laughs> he's getting, all, he's getting, buckets. Getting, 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 getting buckets all season long. But this weekend, man, this guy balled out. I don't think he took a. I, I think his only breaks were timeouts. I'll be <laughs> honest. And even then, he was out there getting jumpers. That guy, that guy got a motor. There's Isaiah McCray from Burlow Prep. Really good player as well, too. All over the place, man. Everywhere you look. Anywhere you look. Anywhere you look. From all different backgrounds, too. It's a good stride. Yeah. Good stride. Good run, bro. Good run. That man right there, Cam Slaymaker, he's one of my favorite players in this class. Really? He's a bucket. Oh, my goodness. He's a bucket. Can't wait for this game. From, from BC. I can't wait to keep watching these games. We're watching uh, some some one-on-one -on -one drills take place behind us. Mm -hmm. And uh, also some defense, some defensive and, and competition, competing uh, stations. And that was really a big point of emphasis for our uh, for our trainers, was that we really wanted to bring that competition level up, just so that other people can see just how in incredible the, the talent level is here. Which is super important. Right? Putting people in positions to succeed, and then allowing them to do just that. Right, that's a, that's that's really important. I, I love I love the fact that the game has grown and expanded, and a lot of people want to get involved. Yeah. But I think it also kind of watered down things just for this year. Mm. In what in sense? Some, in the sense of preps being preps that shouldn't be preps, and right, you know, just grabbing anyone because you want to put a team together. That's and, right. And to me, that really. I don't want to say it really watered it down, but it put things into question. Yeah. So if you're an evaluator. And you're looking at someone and you score 50, you score 60 versus right. such and such. Do I know that's a real 50? Do I yeah. know that's a real 40 or 30? No, yep. I don't know that. And that's where that's right, right when that uh, consistency aspect comes right back to it, right. right? You need to show up every day and be the be the player that you want to that you want to put on the display. Because if you don't, then it's you're right, FA. It might be it might be a one-off or it might be uh, there there might be circumstances, but after a while, certain numbers just become undeniable, right? And, and guys don't want to know what you're doing versus. X, X Elite or whatever it is. Yeah. I want to know what you're doing versus Tierno Silla. I want to know what you're doing versus Bamboo Amara. I want to know what you're doing versus Elijah Fisher, Leonard Miller. I want to know what you're doing versus versus whomever. And I think this is what we're accomplishing right now. As Epe take a quick step away here, um, I will be continuing on. Just getting some materials here. So again, shout out to the playground for, for hosting this facility. The playground is everything that uh, that basketball players could, could need and could love. We got, uh, we got three full courts here. Um, as well as just a beautiful facility that's really facilitated some good basketball and uh, still really really blessed to, to be part of a basketball organization like this man it's good stuff as we see Marcus Johnson sprinting on through there I'm not sure what you guys see on the broadcast but I see people sprinting you might just see some blurs on camera who knows And again, just like FA and I were mentioning, the game of basketball has just expanded so much throughout Canada. It's been a, it's been amazing just to see the, the growth and the development of, of talent through really all corners of the of our nation. Um, you see us competing much better in the states than in past years. You see more Canadian talent heading to the NBA than ever before. And uh, that's all just a testament to, to us as, as basketball players in the basketball community really trying to push the envelope and just see what we're made of and, and see what we're going to be able to accomplish. And again, if you got any questions on the uh, on the live stream, we will be checking the YouTube page, so feel free to uh, socialize and uh, engage with us there. Not the 
ball with you. We have an absolute legend approaching the booth right now, Mr. COO in the flesh, Mr. Mike Dotto. How are you doing today? Hello, 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 oh hello. You got a treat right now. We're talking. This, this is fun. This is great. This we is haven't fantastic. done this. We haven't done this in a while. It's been a hot minute, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, Mike, for those of you, for those of the viewers that may not know, um, what's your role here with North Pole Hoops? I am the COO of North Pole Hoops. Okay. Uh, back in the day, if you guys remember me, I was mixtape Mike. <laughs> And, uh, certified, you certified. know, back in the day when Tark and Elias uh, needed some media video, I was the guy to go to. I believed in their crazy dream, and we're here, what, 11, 11 years later, 12 11 years, years later. 11 years later. So and, what have, uh, what have yeah. those 11 years been like, Mike? Honestly, a lot of, like, a lot of trial, error, um, understanding how the basketball world works, uh, making great connections, and then at the end of the day, for me, where I am today, it's asking questions and asking the community, what do you guys want? Yeah. You know, I tell everybody, you know, we run our North Pole Hoops Showcase League, et cetera. We now have this facility. Um, North Pole Hoops doesn't have a horse in the race. Yep. We are a neutral body, and I believe that. It's all ball, no politics. And, you know, I reach out to the club teams. I reach out to the preps. So FA does reach out to the preps, and I ask them, what do you guys need? What do you need to get to that next level? What do you need North Pole Hoops to get to that next level? And, you know, for me, it's I, I grew up with that broadcast side, so more video, et cetera. But I'm able to develop a full year calendar now of leagues, events, combines, uh, broadcasts that we do, more exposure-based things that help these kids get to the next level that go hand-in-hand -hand with our scouting service. So we're developing day in, day out, and we're listening. That's the biggest thing I think people need to realize is that we're listening to the parents, listening to the clubs in the market. What do you need? We'll do it. We have a team now. Right. And we're looking to build. We're looking to build. Everybody on this broadcast, if you're listening, uh, looking to add to North Pole Hoops, provide good and great job opportunities, part-time to full-time. We want to grow this nucleus and really take over the market and uh, go from there. That's amazing, Mike. And, and, and truly, what we've uh, what we realized and recognized is that it really is about like making those connections and, and understanding what we can do to provide. Yep. Right, because it's not just about you, you, you and me here, but it's really about what we can do for the community and and how we can engage with the community as well. And we can't say it enough. Shout out to shout out to everyone part yep. of the North Pole Hoops family. Shout out to the playground for uh, just offering and, and believing in the dream. Oh yeah, this right? is a dream. Like if you look, I don't know what we're looking at with the broadcast right now, but we have that logo at the middle of the court. And I remember what, that day that we saw logo come in. T and I was there. We gave each other a big hug. This was something that we've always dreamt beautiful, about. Man. We manifested, beautiful. and you know, shout out playground. Sam Ibrahim and everybody at the playground who really believed in us to develop this because this facility, this Curly Court facility, takes it us to another level. That's right. Um, you know, the the professionalism that we're able to bring with this type of facility and then just grow our brand. That's great. You know, Sam, if you're watching, we'd love another facility. Four courts this time, <laughs> that would be awesome. But it's, uh, you know, this is the stepping stone. And, you know, I'm a little bit inside info here is uh, we are going to grow our operations team. We are going to, ooh, see that? That was a nasty well, yes, jump. I did. We are going to grow our operations team. We're going to grow our scouting team. Uh, we are going to expand the North Pole Hoop Showcase League. Uh, cross your fingers, we will be doing the girls' side as well. Uh, we will do everything we do on the boys' side, but for the girls as well. But we want to ensure that we have the right operations to do it properly. The girls deserve every single bit of what we're doing here today, mm -hmm. but on that girls' side. But it takes about the operations side. And Nana, uh, Nana O, oh, who's our operations manager, we're, we're set to build that. Best and as business. we build that for the juniors, the girls, the boys, mm -hmm. we are then going to replicate it coast to coast. 
and we're going to go uh, and every province is our goal. So right now we have our CEO actually is in uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. He's expanding the North Pole Hoops brand to the states. And we feel that we can really make some damage out there, find some talent, and bridge the Canadian state side and bring them over in that way too. So it's a lot of fun coming Right, up. That's amazing. And, yeah. and, and if you wouldn't mind, would you want to talk about that more, just that, that connection between the states and Canada? Yep. And what have you noticed uh, has, has really grown over, the, over your, your years working with North Pole Hoops? Would this have been possible back 11 years ago? Yeah. Or has I, this been through the expansion of the game of basketball? You know what, the, exp the game of basketball has changed so much over the last 11 years. Like, think about it. Like, North Pole Hoops used to do our exposure camps, and it was realistically one of the biggest things out there. But now, like, fast forward 10 years later, there's tons of exposure camps, there's tons of leagues popping up, which is amazing for basketball. Totally. That's giving the platform that wasn't there when Tarek and Elias were, were uh, hooping thinking that they should have been in the NBA, these five, nine Palestinians, <laughs> you know, cross their fingers. That's the whole reason why they made this. Yeah. But the development of the game has changed so much. And, uh, you know, for us to even do the NPA, the National Preparatory Association, at that time, there was nothing for prep and very little prep. And OSBA was fantastic, and we were working with them. And then uh, the fact that, you know, teams came to us coast to coast saying, we need a national league. Right. We developed that. We are always listening to the market, and we're always trying to make this better for the market. So as I continue to listen and <clears throat> take calls and understanding what's going on, we're just developing it as we move forward. And like you said, with the state side, we feel like, you know what, like everybody still has that mantra of you got to go to the states to make it, got to go to the states to make it. It kind of sucks, but, you know, we're trying to prove that you can stay here and still do that. Uh, but at the same time, we're not going to be naive. We would love to expand to the state side and bring clubs and teams with us to have our Canadian National Invitational Tournament hosted in Florida. Do other tournaments where we get more American players, more Canadian players up against each other, but at the elite level, obviously we're going to do something with the playground when it comes to the facility, Always. but with our media and broadcasting, like we can do something really special. And that's what I'm trying to develop as a COO and just, you know, be elite. Every day we have to push the narrative. We have to push our boundaries, get to the next level, because you're going to have competition left, right, and center, but it's how do we separate ourselves to get to that level and make sure we're still providing the, the exposure and the the want from everybody but I'm here to work I'm here to work and make this better you know that's why we're all here Gary so we're that's here to work absolutely right Mike but it's not work it's basketball I love it we're yeah, blessed we are exactly so blessed it. man because we look around and we really do see people coming in from all different corners of the country yep. again we've shouted out Missouri BC today Raymond Alberta we have our Quebec, Quebec teams out here yeah yeah. I got people texting me mixtape Mike they're listening mixed right now mixtape Mike <laughs> shout classic. out Coach Kier that's Coach classic. Kier from Ballsmatic so that's it Ballsmatic I love it guys get in my league get in the North Pole Hoops League we need more teams because it would be awesome. I'd love to do like 24 teams per division. We're going to get there one day. Definitely. Because you know, again, people are going to see, they're going to read. We just did a three camera broadcast uh, not too long ago for our champion. Sorry, two camera broadcast. I just bought something that will allow us to do a three camera broadcast, a wireless. Uh, yeah, so right now it's just one camera, but we're going to do something that it, for the Game Speaks Combine, or sorry, the Game Speaks Prospect game, these two yep. games coming up, we're going to have three camera angles going in the huddles. This is just going to take it to another level. My, I grew up as a broadcast guy. That's right. So T's always saying, you know, your video, your broadcast. I want to, how do I replicate that? Yeah. On a, I'm sorry, guys, but on a shoestring budget to ensure that we have the highest quality. Yeah. That's the goal. Yep, you got to get creative. Uh, and, and the you ingenuity know, shows. Oh, yeah. It yeah. shows, clearly. And, yeah, and I'm, I'm always watching. I'm always watching to see what's new, what's fat. You know, yep. we're going we're gonna to have those mic'd ups again. We're going to do, I think FA's going to be mic'd up for this event, and we're going to do mixtape for kids. But what else can we do on the video side, on the broadcast side? And we're just going to change it. We're going to keep evolving. That's the goal with MPH. That's great. And, and to your point, Mike, uh, everyone watching, be sure to engage with the, with us through the comment section and let us know what you want to see yep. and what, uh, what you think North Pole Hoops is doing very well and, uh, and what you want to see uh, through future installments. And uh, everyone, we, we don't want to take too much of Mike's time. No, no, I'm going to be a floater around here. I'm going right. to shake some hands and... Uh, yeah, we got a lot of talent. In we got here. Like so it's, much talent. Like look at some of these right. monsters over here. We're talking about the co we're co talking about the competitive nature yeah. and just the level that North Pole Hoops sets in the, in our gyms and and it shows. What it are we shows. looking at right now, camera guy? Where you go? You're in the back. Okay, I see you. All right. So we got some scrimmages in the back and in the front. You actually have the combine. We're almost done with the combine testing of it, which is good. Yep. What's coming up next, Garrison? 
Right, uh, coming up next, we have our skill acquisition uh, section, which is when our elite MBA uh, trainers are going to be doing uh, different sections and different groups with different types of players. Perfect. So no matter what position you are, we're going to be working on every skill set that's, that can co come Ooh. up in a basketball game. No, that's good. Right? FA and I mentioned that it's uh, been a positionless game for a few years now, and so what that means is that we need to work on different skill sets in order to, to really provide that, uh, that proper level of basketball talent because we don't want to pigeonhole people or put people in boxes anymore. Yep. Right? We want to understand that there's still there's still so much more for us to do in order to make our games expand. So after the skill acquisition uh, aspect of it, mm -hmm. that's when we're going to scrimmage. Yeah. And we're going to let everyone uh, really show show what they can do. And uh, and again, to, to our points, we have scouts and coaches and, and just top tier talent throughout the throughout yeah. this building right now. Yeah. So the, the level of competition and intensity, you can feel it. Yeah. It's high. You know what? It's it's it hasn't been done in a while. Uh, obviously, because of COVID and whatnot, there's right. big issues with that. But to have all these high-level, you know, oh, <laughs> See, something happened there. Oh, oh, what's up? Oh no, I missed that one. Oh, one thirty-seven. That guy is. That guy looks twenty-eight. Who are we kidding here? <laughs> no. That guy looks twenty-eight. No, that's a, that's a, that's an FA favorite. That's awesome. Very, that's very an cool. FA favorite right there. Very, very cool. But yeah, no, they're doing the. the Oh, the vert right now. They're, doing the, oh, they're here, finishing up with the vert. Here, here comes my cameraman to the left, to the left. Yeah, yeah, get off the... There you go. Oh, you yeah. Can, see, I'm going to do some vert right now. <laughs> Let's see it. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> We're talking armpits Monsters. at the rim, Look people. at Izzy. Izzy's face. I know. Woo. I know. We've been, doing, we've, been, we've been seeing some stank faces throughout the crowds today. It's, yeah, been, yeah. it's been amazing. No, this is what, no but Garrison, it's we haven't motive. done this in a while. No, that's right. Um, you know, to get this type of talent in the gym, this is the first time that North Bullets is doing this Game Speaks type combine. It's a little bit of an evolution from the normal showcase, mm -hmm. uh, but this is a lot more elite level talent, coast to coast coming in here. Very impressed with the amount of talent. And the connections and buy-in from the coaches. I, I saw uh, Damian Gay RNS. I saw Ro Russell, Presswood yep. here. I know we're going to have a bunch more in. Um, and this is just the community. This is all ball, no politics. Exactly, and this yeah. is the neutral ground that NPH is. And I think people need to realize that. Because the roots know? start with exposure. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was an expo it's an exposure-based oh, yeah. company to, yeah. to really let the let the players' uh, skill sets and, yep. and just who they are as people shine. Right? Because that's not what you get everywhere. I love that. No, all basketball, no politics. And I think that's what F.A. brings to the table. Out. Like, he's he's not going to sugarcoat it. And I think Elias and Tarek, at the end of the day, they did that as well. And they breeded that ground as to, uh, you know, make that happen where it's all ball no politics type thing but the neutral body of North Pole Hoops is here no club no prep associated we are here to find those hidden gems and provide that platform and that platform can be through scouting service through our leagues through our combines uh, through our media through our marketing etc so there's a lot of different avenues that hopefully if the parents here like we can definitely help these guys get to that next level yeah, and uh, you know just progress keep progressing that's the goal right and with you being a part of this as well Garrison appreciate that always you know and, and you're going to help us on the mentorship side and, and help guide the, uh, hold on a sec, Nana what? Yeah, Nana O. I already shot you out, Nana O. We've been shot you out. out. I already shot you out. Guys, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on live right now. Are you kidding me? I'm on live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know that I was the voice of North Pole Hoops back in the day, too. You how, know the intro? How could they not know? You remember the intro? NPH. Yeah. <laughs> so Canadian basketball. There he is. How many times I had to do that, Tark's like deeper, deeper, deeper you gotta, Michael. You gotta deeper. Want it. Okay, okay. You gotta I got want it. it. You know. North Pole hoops, leaders in Canadian basketball. This summer, one man. <laughs> that was a man with a, a lot of talents right now. FA, you want to come back on? We're having some fun here. Okay. All good, all good. Okay, guys, I will... Uh, well, Mike, thanks so much for your time, out, man. For sure. As always. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see you back here this weekend. Let's have fun. Again, as always. Okay. Working hard. Take thanks, care, Mike. Guys, Take Mike. care. And again, that was our Valiance leader, Mike Dotto, in, uh, hopping on as we have F.A. back and joining us. How are you, F.A.? I'm good, man. I'm good, okay. man. Just directing a little bit of traffic, as you know, always, getting yeah. guys where they need to be. Yep. But we're looking, we're looking beautiful right now, man. Good, good, Everything good. Everything's great. I love that. I yes, love sir. that. Because now I've been, I've been, I got the best seat in the house. I'm watching people sprint past Just me and do vertical <laughs> jumps. Like, <laughs> all I got to do is move my neck. <laughs> look, at, look at our guy, Joe, Joe Breeze. Oh, Joey Cool right goodness. here, man. Joey Cool. <laughs> Joey Cool. <laughs> oh, man. I love it, man. It's, it's funny. I was walking around right now, and uh, a lot of the guys are just like, yo. I want to get them running. I want to see them play. I want to see them play. I, and I'm, them I can't play, wait. Man. I can't I wait. Know. I know. I can't yeah, wait. You got to be patient, though. Patience. Key. Yeah, no, Key. this will be real good. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, man. 
new group in here. Yep, we got <laughs> I was talking to the guys at the, the vertical jump, and they're like, you know what? We got to raise it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, <true. laughs> that's right. That's so true. <laughs> raise it up. No, that's guys hilarious. Just absolutely just cleaning it. Can, can confirm. That was <laughs> exactly, yeah. We have like, armpits at the rim right now. Monsters like, in this gym right now, man. How do we do this? Let's go. Let's go chewing, chewing, awesome. chewing gum and sprinting. <laughs> sprinting. Yeah, we gotta talk to him about that. Chewing gum and sprinting. Mm -hmm. As we know, they can walk and chew gum at the same mm -hmm. time. I love seeing the amount of guys in here. Some, some who are committed. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. What do you or think? Or who have about? offers? Or who have offers? That's in here. right. And, and and they came out to compete. I love that. I love that, man. It's because we, we, we recognize that there's a, that it's an environment that uh, doesn't come around very often, right? It's not it's not every day that you have a combine with all these coaches, scouts, and uh, top tier talent just all in one place. And I mean, just being part of that is again something that people people really look towards, right? Yes, people sir. really gravitate towards. Shout out Nana operations. Right? Always. Yeah, Nana's gotten like nine shadows today. I think Nana's gotten the most shadows out of anyone here, which is saying a lot. She's holding it down, man. She's holding it down. But of course. I gotta say shout out to, to Tarek Spade as well too, man. Yeah. I, I know I know he's definitely watching. Top dog Elias and Tarek. The homies, man. It's kinda crazy to see uh, eleven years. Eleven years. Eleven years. Going strong too. Yeah. No end in sight. Yeah. You know, like you hear a lot about like what you want to get done in it in 24 hours and everything, but it's, there's something to say about just what it means to, to, to leave a lasting legacy, you know? And like North Pole Hoops has, has definitely done that, made their imprints on Canadian basketball. I mean, I remember seeing them as, uh, what was it? I saw, I seen a list with them as a, like top 20 most influential basketball um, minds in, uh, in all of Canada. Yep. And man, that's not nothing. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's this not, is, uh, it's really impressive what they've been able to do. And, uh, and, and I, really, made, I really commend them for doing it the right you know, way they made, well. they made it easier for guys like me to come in and try to create something for myself as well, too. They tell me stories about traveling and the drives, sleeping in the car, sleeping in gyms. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a uh, commitment to the cause. It's nuts. It's Undoubt nuts. Undoubtedly. And they always, they always tell, it's funny, they always tell a story about the garage, which uh, I, I respect a lot, too. Definitely. You know, everybody's got a different garage, but the fact to have that, uh, to, to grind your way through is super, that's super special. Yep. You see big man coming up here. He's up here, Max. Oh, Tiana Silla. My man's in sweats. I'm not even put shorts on, man. Some light. Some light. Oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. Yo. <laughs> that was nuts. Oh he just clear it. We were, we were talking about how we needed to raise the bar, and uh, I think we're going to have to raise it again. Because we just cleared silly. all of the notches there. That was amazing. Absolutely silly. Imagine him swatting your shot. <laughs> He swatted a lot of shots this into, year, man. Into the parking lot? He swatted a lot of... That's crazy. Yeah, we literally... We're going to have to bring it up. <laughs> That's what we're bringing Swatted a lot of shots. We're, we're, we weren't kidding. They're, 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 raising the, they're raising the goal line here. No goal lines if the goal's in my mind, you know? Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to the most uh, today and tomorrow? Oof. You know what? The most, like, I don't want to, I don't want to say the the upperclassmen top prospects game, but man, it's hard not to, to look at that and have it circled. I mean, that's gonna be good. There's gonna be some highlights for sure, some dunks, some blocks, some 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 high competition. I love it because it's not. It could seem all star ish, right? Because you have a ton of top guys who will be, you know, who could be considered all star players. Mm -hmm. Depends where though. Depends where, not here. Depends where. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> There's only so much um, that, uh, again, you never want to be, you never want to be the best player in the gym, right? You never want to. Oh, no, 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 no. You just want to blend in, just be another guy. Yeah. No, I mean, I, to the, to, no, no, no. I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is that if you're, if you're always the best player everywhere you go, you got to go to a new gym. You got to go to a new you gym. You got to find that, that new talent. That is a fact. You got you to gotta find that new talent that Definitely. you can actually measure up with. Definitely. 
My goodness. We have set the new, set the bar much more high. Oh, they're, oh, they're raising that. That's what I'm saying, man. They raised the bar. <laughs> this is what I love to see, though. That's nice. Oh, my goodness. I'm just amazed at the guys just watching it. Now. I know, I'm just like, just, you know, like, who is this guy? So are, yeah, everyone here. Like, who uh, is this guy? We see, yeah, we see, we see everyone. Guys are just looking like, wow. Yeah, everyone's like, can you do one more? Uh, no, he's a bit different. That guy's different, man. Yeah. That's crazy. You got to put it on the bench? That's <laughs> nuts. That's a different type of height. It's different. Oh, man. And again, we hear our pro trainers. Making some noise, making sure that all our guys yes, are in check. Yeah. That's exactly what we what we'd like to see. That's crazy. They gotta bring it out just for the one person? That's a deal. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know. That's how you know. Man, the amount of talent in here is crazy right now. Uh, no. Justice Hazley, 2025, is gonna be a stud. Uh, Augustus Brzezikis, Ignis' younger brother, yep. who we see a lot in this gym. New Horizons, Start, right? New Horizons, he's gonna be a stud yeah. as well too. Love it, love it, love it, love it. tapped into the live chat right now on YouTube. So if there's anything else that you'd, uh, that you'd like us to discuss or, or explore a little bit further, please let us know. And again, spread, spread and share the link to uh, anyone and everyone that you know. Shout out to everyone tuning in, man. Real talk. Shout out to everyone tuning in. We appreciate the support. As we set up for our next rotation, we're going to take a quick break here, so don't go anywhere, and uh, we will be back.
started at Planet Fitness now and enjoy tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs for only $15 a month. That's $15 a month? That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Get glowing and feel fit-tacular at Planet Fitness for only $15 a month. Get started at Planet Fitness now and enjoy tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs for only $15 a month. That's $15 a month? That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Get glowing and feel fit-tacular at Planet Fitness for only $15 a month. Get started at Planet Fitness now and enjoy tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs for only $15 a month. That's $15 a month? That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Get glowing and feel fit-tacular at Planet Fitness for only $15 a month. and enjoy tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs for only $15 a month. That's $15 a month? That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Get glowing and feel fit-tacular at Planet Fitness for only $15 a month. Fit-tacular. I walked in a corner with the Never show the bag will look like Pablo in a photo. This gonna make him feel the way like Tony Kilmanolo. You already know that. You already know that. I walk in a corner with the money on my finger. She might get it popping. I'm a waffle for the winner. I already know. Already know. Already know. All I need is roses. All I need is roses.
started at Planet Fitness now and enjoy tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs for only $15 a month. That's $15 a month? That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Get glowing and feel fit-tacular at Planet Fitness for only $15 a month. Started at Planet Fitness now and enjoy tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs for only $15 a month. That's $15 a month? That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Get glowing and feel fit-tacular at Planet Fitness for only $15 a month. now and enjoy tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs for only $15 a month. That's $15 a month? That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. Woo! It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Get glowing and feel fit-tacular at Planet Fitness for only $15 a month. back thank you for joining us at the north pole hoops game speaks combine as always i'm your host garrison thomas and uh, i'll be joined by a good amount of people that are coming through here today so if you're just joining us we are actually just about to rotate through as our teams are getting together 
You have several different stations today, including skill training, uh, full court scrimmages, and the NBA combine testing. <laughs> and, and believe me when I say, uh, we've seen some freakish athletes. Some great speed here. And again, if you can tell from your screens at home, we have some really incredible talent that's all been uh, joining us today in the gym. And again, we can't say enough, but uh, thank you to the playground for facilitating this event. And uh, North Pole Hoops, as always, is in a great partnership with, uh, with many different people and always looking to expand the network. So if you think that your business can align with our values and our, and our um, ideals, then please feel free to reach out to our Commander-in-Chief, uh, Mike Dotto, a CEO. There's a big theme of the day is that uh, we got to stay ready for our opportunities. And at the end of the day, the name of the game uh, here at the North Pole Hoops Combine is Game Speaks because opportunities don't come around every, every so often, right? There might be one opportunity that could really change your life. So it's really important that we stay ready for those opportunities uh, as they come and, and really make the most of them because there's only one chance at a first impression. So whenever we're able to make the most out of that, that's what we got to do. All right, as a new group of individuals starts their NBA Combine training, you can see a new set of freakish athletes that we get to check out. That good speed running all the way through. And that's exactly what we're talking about because there's, there's that, that effort that's got to go right through the finish line and we can't stop short just because we think that we, uh, we get to get enough time. It's an amazing time, by the way, 3.225. Great job. Let's go say Koji. Excuse me, Oseo Koji. As we're joined by the top dog in the building, Sir F.A. Jeez, we got some good speed going. And we're back. So F.A., I was just talking about the new uh, the new crop of individuals trying the NBA Combine here. Yes, sir. And uh, just really how important it is to make the most out of our opportunities because they don't come around too often. 100%. Right? So we really always have to do what we can. <coughs> To Always. improve, no, definitely, definitely, because some great speed, some, and again, we see a lot of effort is the name of the game today, right? Showing out, showing, showing, improving that you're that you can um, that you can compete at the highest levels. Playing hard, playing hard is is something that all of us. It's funny, control. it's like a most, it's the most underrated thing. Yeah, I think you asked me earlier about what am I looking at as well in terms of prospects and, and evaluating motor. Mm. Motor is super important as well. Playing hard. A lot of guys just get by with, with talent, with skill. But, I mean, if I'm not working you over 40, 48 minutes, I'm going to come out with a dub. Yeah, that's right. And a lot of guys are making livings <laughs> overseas, playing in Europe, playing in the league just because they're out working everyone, whether in workouts, practices, and then in the games. I think Doing the little things, the dirty work. Yeah, there are superstars in the NBA who said that there's a lot of people in this league who don't even know how to play basketball, but they can just do something that's super elite. Super well. Right? They can play, compete really They know high. their role. They know their role. They're starring their role. It's so funny. I just think about a, a lot of the things I see in the prep scene or as basketball guys, you know, trying to dance with the basketball. And, and I'm like... Still? <laughs> still. Still? Still. Come on. Still. That's, that's nuts. That's nuts. That style doesn't work. I mean, it can get. It, it doesn't work. It can work. It can work, but you most better of be the, Kevin Durant. Most of the time, yeah. And, and really. In reality, like most times, you're not. And that's the that's a bit <laughs> of the issue too, is that we see so many guys looking at these uh, NBA stars or or just their, their peers and uh, and teammates and say like and try to try to emulate exactly what it is that they're doing. Meanwhile, not realizing that th those guys that are that are doing those. Uh, uh, Romanian deadlifts on a on a Bosu ball, but they've been that they've been they didn't start there, right? And Self awareness. You can't, you can't cheat the process. You can't cheat the process because if you try to start uh, where somebody on on somebody else's step 45, then at the end of the day you're gonna get hurt. Process is always undefeated, man. Yeah, that's right. Got move those arms. 83. <laughs> Gotta get that motion going, man. Right? Just more power. Generate yeah. more power. <laughs> a lot of kids needing to do their vertical. Shout out to all the scouts in the building right now, man. Coach Chris, Josh Milliken, Izzy, a couple other guys definitely want to scout, serving the gym right now. 
IDing who they who they see, who they're watching, who they wanna who they want to see participate in the top prospects game. Love that. Got it over there chugging. over here hunter harding with the blonde hair oh yeah yeah no i've been seeing him around he's been doing <laughs> he's been doing a little this little that man a little this a little that yep. no and as we can see on the broadcast we're, we're spanning back over to the sprints and just seeing the pure speed and athleticism that would that's sprint on through, sprint through though sprint through Osei Goji telling telling Get that? your J run through <laughs> run, run through when you stop right? short. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Why stop short? Good pace. You can see you can see the intensity you on some of these. Intensity. Yeah, in some of these athletes' face. And hey, like you gotta lock in. Alright, so so when we look or when we look around and just see the uh, the abilities of certain people, it's that it's the ability to actually to put that on display every time is actually a really important uh, talent talent that you really need to continue to practice. Yep. Right. It can be developed, and that's something that uh, that a lot of us just take for granted is that that everyone wants instant gratification. The saying, "Hey, I put work in today. Why aren't I getting the results?" And that's not always like the that. case, right? It doesn't work like that. Exactly, yeah. You gotta be consistent with what you're working at and what you're attacking. And, and we mentioned earlier that you gotta attack your weaknesses. And, and today, uh, one of the weaknesses that, that we can attack really is just that effort level, yep. that intensity level, and, and just focusing on what you can control and, and wanting to... Control what you control. Yeah, really, really, really set yourself apart. Some camaraderie and uh, some jokes being cracked amongst players, man. This is a great atmosphere. It really, is an awesome environment to be part of. I mean, even on the even on the courts that are over there, we see full court scrimmages taking place already, and I'm jealous that I can't be checking those out right now. <laughs> In soon time. In yeah, soon time. No doubt about it. Merrifield, standing jump. I feel like he's gonna have a very high max vert in, compar in comparison to uh, the standing. Oh yeah. Okay. Slipped a little bit too. Yeah. Would not surprise me if he's uh, if he were ever to catch someone off guard and catch a lob in game or something like that. Yep. With 2022 completely underway now, 
What are you? Uh, what do you have plans? What do you, is there anything uh, that you're looking forward to in the in the, in the near future? Say that one more time. I'm curious. Just with 2022 completely underway now, is there is there anything that you're looking forward to this year? Anything? Any events coming up or anything like that? Bio steel game, man. Bio steel game. Bio steel game. Bio steel is back. <laughs> Bio steel is back. Back like they never left. What's, uh, what's, <laughs> what's what's going on with that? Are you are you involved in any capacity? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So I was announced as part of the selection committee. Me and five, six other guys. My dog. Appreciate that. Appreciate That's that. what's up. Honest, re really, really honored to be a part of that. First yeah. time. Um, first time. Dude. I guess it's a testament to the to the work. I was just about to say that's, <laughs> that's, that's literally like, it just works so hard that it's just undeniable, man. No, man, I I, that's I love it. I, I, you know, I appreciate it more than anything because I know how BioSteel is BioSteel. BioSteel right? is legit. legit. Celebrating the top guys around the country, so to yep. be a part of that selection committee is definitely definitely a blessing. Oh my goodness, I appreciate it. So when's that game? When can uh, where can people check that out? I believe that's the the weekend of April first to third. Oh, that's coming up. That's coming up. Oh, that's coming up soon. That's coming up. Yeah, no doubt. Yep. Got okay. a lot of guys. A lot of guys hitting me already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> I bet. Yeah, you know that. You again, know that. again though. If you deserve it, why not? Why not? Yeah, the game is gonna you know? speak. So, no, I'm really looking forward to that. Obviously, there's gonna be certain guys in that game who, who've done their thing for a couple yeah. of years. Are there any, are the there no, any uh, no brainers that you know? Leonard Miller, okay. <laughs> definitely the name we've been, we've been guy. talking about for for a long time. Yep. Always be a champion with Fort Erie. Been on the radars of, of several high majors and NBA people. Mm -hmm. uh, the kid is just flat out good. <laughs> yeah. Elijah Fisher, another one, obviously no brainer. Um, we we know what Elijah Fisher is. Yeah, no doubt about that. Got his bro here, doesn't he? Is that his bro's here, isn't he? No, 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 no. There's a lot of Fishers. I see. But there is a lot of Fishers. I actually saw a video of. Of, of one coming up, Jordan Fisher, I believe, is, is his name. Grade 7 and 8 already dunking. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> something in those waters. Wait, that's right. Something in those waters, man. Okay. Yeah. Get up, then. Get up, then. This guy said one more. This guy said I want another one. Another. Get up, then. Hey. Yeah, those are... It's that volleyball jump. Hey. Aaron Singh, 2024, get up. That was some sneaky bounce. <laughs> And right now on the live broadcast, we can see some ball handling taking place. And again, like we mentioned, man, it's these days, everyone's got to have every skill, right? Everyone at least needs the confidence to, to be able to, to ball handle or at least, you know, just... 16 kids have got their measurements. No, I just have their names. There we go. Okay, so now now we see what we see. Give it, give it. And Fa will just step away shortly. Okay. Oh yeah.
Okay. Come on. That's what we got there. The sheer Greaves Sadats. It's actually a North Pole Hoops rep circuits <laughs> stud. We were watching them ball out this weekend um, at our Senior Boys Championship uh, weekend. And man, let me tell you, the style of play was just impressive. It was impressive. I mean, I saw some dunks, saw some, uh, some, some real highlights. Some real highlights for real as the sheer approaches. That's why we gotta keep our head up. All right. All right, we are joined now by Yashar. Yashar, how you doing, man? Great, how about you? Never better. So we were just talking. We've seen uh, we've seen you around, and I, just, I was curious. Well, what's your North Pole Hoops experience been like? It was pretty good. We yeah? came in here from Windsor. Yeah. And you know, it was a nice competition, nice nice league as well. Good, good. So, yeah, it was good. And so, what since you're since you're coming in from Windsor, that's a pretty far drive, right? Yeah. <laughs> no yes. doubt about it. Yeah. So is there is there really anything that's uh, that's out in the Windsor area that's that's uh, relatable to this environment? Or is this, uh, is this having this new, fresh, competitive environment? Uh, this is like a completely different environment because it's a lot more competition, a lot more talent here, mm. and a lot more people. So, oh, for it's, sure, it's really nice coming out, like over here, getting exposure from like different. different Definitely, because I was saying, I was saying to the live broadcast right now that we've seen you get, we've seen you getting buckets over the past couple of months here. Mm. And it's great to see. Mm. So, for you as a basketball player, what do you, what's, uh, what really drives you? Do you find that there's a, that there's a motivator that you, that you have? Or is there what, what is it internal, external? What do you think? Uh, motivation, I'd say, is to, the biggest motivation is to retire my parents, and be able to, you know, allow them to live comfortably. Right. Because they're paying for all this for me, so yeah, but I still. gotta work my I gotta work my hardest to like pay it off. No, definitely, man. And, and and giving back to giving back is something that's that's so important for for everyone to do through through really all walks of life, right? Because we've been mentioning on the broadcast that like basketball is is a is a great medium to really get to where you want to go. It's that it's that pathway, it's that journey to, to get you to retire your parents, right? And and just keeping that drive and keeping that focus is something that you can do, man. And and I, and I, I believe in you and and keep it up, man. Appreciate it. Thank all right, you. thanks for your time. Take care. You too. All right, so that was the sheer from uh, from Windsor. And again, we'll, we're going to be joined by a few different players, um, a few different coaches and scouts, just to hear uh, just to hear their thoughts on the oof on their um, North Pole Hoops experiences. Because again, we're 11 years in the game now, and so it's uh, there's a lot of people who have experienced a lot of different things and. Like uh, Yashir had mentioned, there's not a lot of places or environments like this where you can get all this talent in one place and really, really measure up and see what you're able to bring to the table.
And we are back with Madushin Suri here, joined by Underdog Athletics. And so, man, uh, this is our, one of our trainers, elite, uh, elite trainers, and we've been to a few showcases and a few combines now. And, uh, and hey, man, I just want to say thank you for joining us. Thanks for, thanks for being here today. Appreciate it, man. Um, I love to be here as one of the one of the young trainers. It's been a good experience mm -hmm. seeing all the players we've been seeing throughout the year, OSBA, all the circuits. So I'm just glad to be a part of it, man. No, definitely, definitely. And so. Having uh, having been here a few times, I could you t could you just speak to the environment that uh, that North Pole Hoops brings that uh, that maybe is different than uh, other locations? No man, organization. I think it starts at the top. The guys at the top make sure everything's put together, ready to go, and then it goes into the coaches and trainers. I've worked with David Tyndale a long time. He's one of the best I've seen. Right. And then he makes sure that he brings in people that he thinks is are are up to the level to work with players who are going to be five-star recruits, some of them, and a lot of good youth sports players as well, OCAA. So me being one of those coaches, I take pride in it. Yeah, and definitely. I hope we can we can get guys better while also giving them that exposure. And that pride, man, it, it comes through in, in really everything you guys do. And, and I'm curious to, to hear just about a little bit more about Underdog Athletics. So yeah, man, so I've been, I've, been, I've been training for about two and a half years now. I played at the University of Toronto, Mississauga. Uh, always had a knack for training. I was actually training while I was playing. Mm -hmm. uh, started off training some guys in my class, um, a couple MPH guys actually, um, Xavier Ochu, Christian David, uh, Aryan Sharma, a couple local guys. And then from there, I just I actually went to David for a bit and worked with him with a couple of his professional guys. Our first workout together was with uh, Nas Long and Dylan Brooks. So he's been a great mentor to me. And from there, I just kind of worked on my own. I worked three three different rep teams. I got my own prep team, so I'm staying busy, man. Busy guy, busy guy. Busy. And so curious to know, how, how do you as a trainer just continue to develop your, your personal skill set while also uh, a skill set as a trainer? Man, I think film is very big. I see. Uh, staying in shape, trying to stay sharp. I still do my own skill work whenever I get the time. Mm -hmm. And then learning from guys ahead of you. I think that's big. Like You can never have too much pride or ego. I ask questions all the time. But also, I'm confident. Like I know, I know what I bring to the table. I know my skill set. I've seen the best. I've been around the best. So I think that just pushes me. And I just, I love this shit, man. Sorry for the swearing, but <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. So uh, curious, man. Where can the people find you, and where do you work out of? Uh, so I'm mostly in the GTA. I work mostly in the West. I would say Milton, Mississauga. Okay. okay. Uh, I do a little bit of work in Burlington. Uh, I have my website up. It's underdogathletics.ca. I'm on Instagram as well. So. If anyone's looking to work, I'm always here, That's ready to go. That's great, man. Thanks so much for your time, all right? Appreciate it, Garrison, man. Uh, just as we make some uh, rotations and adjustments. So again, feel free to hit us up on our socials, uh, stay engaged in those comments, and we will be right back.